hi guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Olaide Rachel if it is your first time here you're welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for holidays and always coming back so guys today i want to really appreciate you guys that watch my videos it actually mean a lot to me i am super super grateful i see you guys and i am grateful that you watch my video thank you so much for always and always watching my video so guys in today's video we're going to be talking about the characteristics or the traits of a proverb 31 woman so safe to say that this video is for my girlies but if you are also a brother or a guy watching this video you can send it to girls in your life your brother your sisters your your friends your partner whoever it is you can send this video to them just to learn one or two from the video all right without further ado let's just begin the video so i know that a lot of us on our instagram bio and our twitter bio we have the proverb 31 woman i am the proverb 31 woman i am a proverb 31 woman so today we just want to dig into the traits of a proverb 31 woman and know if we are actually that proverb 31 woman that we claim that we are or we still need to do one or two work on ourselves to to be there to be up there to be that proverb 31 woman that we claim that we are so yeah let us get right into it so basically our biblical reference today is from proverbs 31 and yeah at intervals i'm going to be looking down because my jota is right here with me and my bible is also right here with me everything is not from up here i made my research and i just wanted my thoughts to be articulated so that is why i have it written down here as we dig into who a proverb 31 woman is so yeah in proverbs 31 quite a number of characteristics quite a number of virtues about that woman was listed especially from verse 10 to 31 so because i, I have just one phone i i am not a kjv kind of you know now gen z is not like gen z but then i really like other translations of the bible but today we're just going to be using kjv because kjv is right here with me i wrote out some no i didn't write them out but then i studied with other translations and other versions and i got some other meanings so i would advise that if you are reading your bible basically this is not just about proverbs 31 if you are reading your bible try to check out other translations of the bible just to get some in-depth meaning just to understand the bible the more honestly you will enjoy it if you do that all right so the traits of a proverb 31 woman they started listing it out from the verse 10 of proverbs 31 and i'm just going to list out some traits we'll come to the bible and rule it out and from there we trust the holy spirit to help us as we go along all right so one of the very first traits of the proverb 31 woman is that she is a virtuous woman all right so let's 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 check that out in the bible Proverbs 31 verse 10 says that who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies so when i check out the meaning of virtuous woman or what it means to be virtuous i saw that it means that you are a noble person a capable person a, a an individual of moral value good moral values it just says that she is worth more than rubies see rubies pearls they are precious stones they are really really expensive stones so for 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 the bible to to um, compare you that you are even more like your what is more than a precious stone your what is more than um, a costly stone you are a virtuous woman you are worth more than stones you are worth more than whatever it is that is expensive that is costly so that is that is who a virtuous woman is and that is who a proverb 31 woman is. and these we are going to also relate this to a part of the bible in proverbs chapter 12 verse 4 let's just open proverbs 12 verse 4 all right scripture says that a virtuous woman is a crown to her husband you see that there is a lot in being a virtuous woman she is a crown to her husband another trait of the proverb 31 woman is that she is a trustworthy woman and when we say trustworthy we mean that she's honest okay why did i say this let's just go to the bible proverb 31 verse 11 says that the heart of her husband doth safely trust in her so that he shall have no need of spoil the heart of her husband does safely trust in her so this one is just that it's not really just about the husband even people around her she's a trustworthy woman she's somebody that you can safely trust in it's somebody that you can you know what i trust this person my secret is safe with this person she's truthful she is honest people can rely on her people are safe with her 
this brings me to the third point she is an hard worker she works hard she's eager to work hard and when i'm saying that she's an hard worker or she works hard, i don't mean that she's doing the heavy duty work carrying what a man is supposed to carry doing what she's not supposed to be doing no what i mean what i mean by she's an hard worker is that whatever her hands find to me she does it with diligence she does it with dedication she 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 does it with all her heart she puts in literally all her efforts to achieve that goal to that particular tax to make sure that the tax is done she put in her best like verse 13 scripture says that she seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. So she is an hard worker. Then verse 14 says that she is like the merchant ship. She bringeth her food from afar. She is a fervent woman. She does not settle for what is around her. She does not settle for what, whatever it is that she can see. She, she, she seeketh for the best. She looks for the best out of. So she, she can go as far as any length just to get the best. She doesn't just settle for, oh, this is what is at my disposal. This is what I'm getting. I cannot stress myself. That is not one of the words of a proverb that one woman. A proverb that one woman will go to the length that it, as far as she can, she will, she, will, she will give in her best just to get what is good, just to get the best, not just anyhow, not just anyhow, anyhow thing that she sees, not just anyhow thing that is around her. She seeketh for the best. Verse 16 says that she considered a field and buyed it with the fruit of her hand and she planted a, a vineyard. A proverb 31 woman is an investor. A proverb 31 woman does not hit with all her hands. She does not hold her shawarma today, other pizza tomorrow. Other. I'm not saying that you should not hit what you, you feel like eating, but a proverb 31 woman is that woman that she invests. See, no matter how little she invests, she invests in her future. She says she seeketh a field and she buys it. She invests. She, she does not just spend everything that she has. She, does not, she invests in her finances. She invests in her personal growth. In, and this is not just about the financial life. She invests in literally all aspects of her life. She, she's an investor, right? Another trait of a proverb for one woman is that she's organized. I think that should be verse 15. Verse 15 says that she rises. Also, why it yet at night and give it me to her household and a portion to her maiden. She's an organized person. Perhaps that one man is not a, is not somebody that does not even know what she has planned out for the day. She is not the kind of person that leave a day like let's see how it goes. She's not the kind of person that leave a week like let's see how it goes. That just that just go through the day, go through the week. She is an organized person. She organizes her thoughts. She organizes the things she wants to do for that day. She organizes literally everything she wants to do. She is not a disorganized person from where she even lives to how she carry herself to how she plan out her daily activities and everything she is an organized person she knows when to wake up she knows when to sleep she she has everything all planned out when to sleep when to eat when to wake up when to pray when to go out she has it organized so let's be checking ourselves we were actually that proverb 31 woman that we claim that we have <laughs> all right s17 says that she guarded her learns with strength and strengthened her hands. She is energetic. She has strength. She is a strong woman. If you that woman, like, hey, I cannot do this. Hey, I cannot do that. I understand that we are we are we are we are ladies, <laughs> but then if that woman is energetic, she is strong. She 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 possesses strength. She has strength. All right. So she is another trait of a proverb that one woman is that she is compassionate. And she is kind. It's verse 20. It says that she stretched out her hand to the poor. Yea, she reached forth her hand to the needy. A proverb 31 woman is a woman that is compassionate to the needs of the poor and the needy. She identified those that are, need, that are in need. She identified those that are poor. And she is compassionate to them. She is kind to them. She gives to them. That is who a proverb 31 woman is. Another trait of a proverb that woman remember that she is modest. See, today is not the day to talk about modesty. But then modesty is not just in the outward appearance. Let me just put it out here. It is not just in the outward appearance. It is not just in what you wear. Modesty springs forth from within. Modesty is, is all a compassion. Modesty is from your heart. Modesty is, is seen in every area of your life, in your, in your speech in your dressing it's just that people have limited modesty to our dressing alone no it's not just our dressing even in everything all around she's she's a modest woman she's modest in her thoughts she's modest in her in her speech she does not talk too much she's modest in her speech she's modest in her thoughts she's modest in her appearance she's modest all around modesty and where is that in verse 22 let's just read out verse 22 
it says that she make it herself covering of tapestry her clothing is silk and purple it means that she's covered she's all covered she covers herself up she's a modest queen she's a modest girl she's a modest jesus baby yeah that's what we for one month another thing is that she is respected and she wouldn't have earned this respect if she does not respect others so she respects others portray herself with respect she respect herself she respect others so she is a respected woman and that's verse 23 it says that a husband is known in the gates when he's seated among the elders of the land another translation says that her husband is respected so it means that the respect that she has given herself like it has turned to people in her house so it has turned to people around her so she respects people around her she respects herself and in turn the respect also come back to her Another trait that a proverb that the one woman possesses is that she is wise. She possesses wisdom. And let's check that in verse 26. It says that she opened her mouth with wisdom and in her tongue is the law of kindness. Oh, what a wise woman. When she opens her mouth, it's wisdom that comes out of her mouth. She, she, she speaks things that are, she speaks wise things. She speaks wisdom to men, right? Everything she says it proceeds from a place of like his wisdom his wisdom that she speak out 27 she is not a lazy woman verse 27 says that she look at well to the ways of her household and eat that's not the bread of idleness she is not a lazy woman she is not idle there's something she's doing at the time that's it people cannot just come into your space anyone because it's not like you are always occupied you're always doing one thing or the other that's where proverb 31 woman is so another trait of the proverb 31 woman is that she is praiseworthy and let's check that in verse 29. She's praiseworthy. Verse 29 says that many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excellest them all. See, there is something special about her. Yes, we have people that are virtuous. We have people that have done really, really great things. But her own is just like the top. Her own is just like number one. So she's praiseworthy. And verse 31 says that she give her of the fruit, give her of the fruit of her hands and let her own work praise her in the gate so she is rewarded she is honored for the works of her hand she is rewarded she is honored because of all of this because of all of this beautiful trait that she has she's rewarded she 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 needs to be given the praise of her of her hand she needs to be given the praise that she deserves to be given so all right i know that we'll look into the traits of a proverb 31 woman and i know that I mean, this video has been talking to us and we know that some of those traits, we might not have it. And it is just a call to, to work more on ourselves. It's a call to, to strive more to become, to become a virtuous woman, to become a woman of strength, a woman that is not lazy, a woman that is organized. It's just a, a call to, to, to work more on ourselves. And also, I just want to put it out there that the proverb that the one woman is all a comparison. You we you prefer the woman is not just virtuous and she's lazy. No, she's virtuous, she's noble, she's hardworking, she's it is all encompassing, all of the straight. If you have one, you ought to have the other. So if one or two is lacking, now is the time to like sit back and work on yourself to just become a better version of yourself, to become a good woman, basically. Yeah. So I know that there are quite other traits of the proverb that women that I definitely did not mention in this video. So you can put it in the comments, some of the traits of the proverb that one woman and we are going to like learn from each other basically. That's what we do here. Let us learn from each other some of the traits that we don't even know about proverb that one woman. And yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Till another time I remain a lady Rachel and yeah give this video a like leave a comment like subscribe to my channel if you haven't it's not good for having your subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. And I am going to see you guys in the next one. Bye.